Hey, welcome in. Michael here. I'm on a roll. This is my second video. Didn't think I'd be doing this in one day. Uh, I wanted to get on video just for, you know, it should be a quick couple of minutes, but it's just been lingering in my mind for the last week or two, but it's been there for a while. It's this whole thing about affiliate marketing and people creating businesses online that may look real, but are fake. It's like the exterior. You look at a very attractive woman. You know, she's got her makeup on, nice shoes, good outfit, walks nice and tall. And, you know, she owns it. You know, she's very responsible. She is very independent so you get to know her. But on the inside, there there's more cracks, okay? There's cracks in the inside. And they're only evident once you're with that person for some time, you get to see them. Okay, and you get to see this same concept in affiliate marketing. Okay, and I know I've released past videos on this, so I wanted to make this short and simple so I can get going. Now, you are probably asking yourself, how are these people becoming millionaires? How are these people earning four figures, five, six, up to 10 plus figures Per year, we're talking about per month, we're talking about per day, per week, so forth. Okay. Now, you have to look at this. I'm going to bring you into the whiteboard after, in a little bit, but it's it's very scary because you don't know who to trust. I don't trust over 99.999 with the little bar above the top continuation of marketers online, even people who own different types of businesses, affiliate marketers, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, the reason being, many of them are tricky. Many of them are just really good at marketing and selling you the dream, right? There's two different models. If you get into the make money online space is what I'm trying to get at. When you show somebody a business opportunity and you've never tried it out for yourself or you know, you've never come up with anything else as successful, it, it, it does feel consciously, subconsciously like you shouldn't do it. And if you're there right now feeling that way, it's completely understandable. I know where you are. I know where you're coming from. And this is why so many people that I come under and mentor, I tell them, make sure that you choose something you are passionate, have a hobby or have an interest in. Stop kidding yourself. Stop saying, okay, I've seen these people who are making money, but how are they? You got to question, how are they doing it? And so many people are the ones that are going to give you like the business opportunity. And then there's a second part to it. There, there are the people who create content for existing business owners, small, large business, corporations, online, traditional brick and mortar. And what they are doing is they're helping them with the tools. Like, for example, we have a business owner who might need, uh, who, who they're at the part of their business where they need a membership plugin. They need to put a membership site together. So Maybe you'll be the person who creates for them a content around a membership type plugin for WordPress. It might be something with ClickFunnels. It might be something with Kajabi, Kartra, Groove Funnels, Groove Pages, Groove Members, anything like this, okay? There's those two different lines of the make money online niche, but you are so blind because whether you do it or not, you see it other people are like, you know, just promote to them the business opportunity. And that's where a lot of people go. Like they just, it's their attention. They're very short span. They're very, um, you know, you're very accustomed to being instant gratified. It means you want instant gratification. I've delayed it. You want instant gratification. And I know that feeling. I'm, I'm like that at times, not so much anymore. Uh, very rarely actually, but I delay it because I don't expect results to come to me this second. Um, it's very hard for me to be on video, you know, till this day. Like I said before, if you've watched my content, I'm going to get on video in a moment on on, on uh, the draw app and, and show you inside of my mind and what I'm talking about. But hang with me. Um, there's that. There's that um, higher tier. You have the people who have the coaching programs and the consulting packages Right underneath that, you might have a type of a group package, and then you have like a course, and then you have more of the front-end offers, right? Kind of front-end, middle-tier offers. And that's what you've likely seen already in this affiliate digital, it doesn't matter, e-commerce type of space. You have the people at the very bottom who create a front-end product that bring you in. 
then they bring you in and another might be a second tier level of a front end product. Then that moves into the mid tier product and that can be more expensive usually is. And then that brings you in to more of the back end could be a little bit of the course. And then the higher ticket can be more of the coaching and consulting package that they sell you on. So when you question and you ask, how are these in people, these, even if you don't think the word assholes make these kind of money. Okay. And you are not wrong to believe, like, do they make most of their money promoting courses? Do they make most of their money with high ticket coaching and consulting? And a lot of it is, yes, it's over 90% of them. Um, So you really have to do your due diligence and you ask yourself, you know, that comes back to the question, um, what have they done to get there? You have to look at their journey. You can't just say, okay, I'm not going to throw names out there. There are people who have amazing institutions, people who have great courses and, and things like that. But you have to look at it at a deeper level and ask yourself, how did they get to where they got to? Uh, when I've done my, I'm very good at research these days. So it's like when I look and I do these things, it's, it's very, uh, it doesn't, it, I don't like the thought of it, but I have to release this constant, this content to you. I have too much focus on my things. Um, so every time I do come up with this kind of material, I do take breaks away from people, from things, because it just doesn't feel good to talk about. I don't like talking about these things, but I, I want to release them to you. Um, and so with conviction, these people, they know very well the triggers logically and emotionally. They follow network marketing for some time where if they didn't, they know the models. And so they look at it and say, how can I duplicate this? but with affiliate, with digital, with all these different spaces. And they're so freaking intelligent. You wouldn't even understand. It's like, okay, this is what they did in network marketing, but we're going to do this here in affiliate, similar thing, but we're going to change it a little bit to make sure that we don't get some kind of a lawsuit, copywriting infringement. People don't look down upon us. So we're going to cover all the little holes that people might have objections to. They get really good at that. They get really good at covering those little holes and those those fine spec details. And they work backwards from there. Uh, because it's so high risk. If they get caught, you know, they're going to ask themselves, why did I not start with the most specific thing to cover? Might have been the most difficult, but we have that plugged so that we don't have objections. And so when you think about the reverse engineer model, we think about it as a coach consult up here. And then we think about kind of uh, could be course, could be something different. And then we think about more of the mid tier. And then we think that could be course. And then we think about the front end products product. And we think about how do they get you in? And, you know, there's, again, those two concepts, the people selling the home business opportunity. And there's two, the people showing existing business players, people out in that industry, in whatever industry it is, how to use different tools, resources, software, membership plugins, uh, products and services, whatever that is, um, you know, you, you're doing that. And I, I more love that kind of a model. Um, not to say that I don't have material on other things because I stand behind them and I've used them myself. So I want to make sure I help you. Um, and I've talked with so many just today. I spoke with a lot of people on that, um, on one of my chats that, you know, is this the right opportunity for them? Is this the right plugin for them? Is this the right this and that? And this goes back and forth. And I just, you know, I give them my best advice as much as I can. Cause you know, I have a lot of experience, WordPress, sales funnels, email marketing, anything, you name it. Okay, but what what it's just it's just a fascinating thing to see. And I don't want you to get lost. And I wish I had the support in the beginning because, you know, they're the people who, again, the business opportunities. And then there are the people who are showing uh, existing businesses already, you know, depending on who your target market is. Here's a productivity tool. Here is a personal development to, oh, you're struggling in your business because you don't have the right mindset, but you're making over $150,000 a year. Well, let's see what is the problem. Oh, it's because you don't have this. All right, let's get this in front of you. So you produce that content. I like that kind of stuff better because um, especially if I've used it and if you haven't use it, okay, use it. Um, and then uh, so many people, it's, it's just a wrong way. So many people do this and it's so f- and deceptive man it's like i i was just again uh rereading a blog post by somebody that has I've saved on my phone and uh you know i won't name anything here but are there people who you know there's people who like create these not niche authority websites 
Um, there's people selling you the dream, promoting you different business tools, and it kind of all falls underneath the same category. Do they have an existing business? Have they used these tools for their own passion, hobby, or the interest that they're trying to get into? Are they not just selling people the dream, a course on how to make money? Like what more is there beyond that? You have to think about that. If this is your niche, this is your wake up call. You got to get your ass together, you know, get yourself in line and say, I'm not going to do that to people. Or if I get to a point where I do, I'm in a position where of a higher power and a higher authority that I can. Now, the reason I make those types of videos is because I am kind of where I should be now because I produce content in other space is. Um, but you got to sack up. You got to get your head up and you got to put your face forward and say, look, I'm not going to take shit from anybody. You know, and I'm and I'm the older brother here. I My younger brother's uh, six years younger than me. He's 22, I believe now. 28 and so you know like i tell people i'm gonna be hard on you when i need to be i can be silent introverted very and then i can be extroverted when i need to be i pick and choose my poison and i speak down on people because it's it's the truth some of them they have fake material it's all regurgitated content because they've seen somebody else do it um so what happens going i don't want to i want to stay on topic the course creation and then the Ticket, high ticket coaching consulting so a lot of those gurus that's how they make their money but you have to trace it back to where they came from there are people who are like oh i created a site around how to kick a soccer uh, I, I you know i created this and this and then they use that as leverage to say look now i can show people how to make money or sell them a business opportunity with tools inside of it so it looks all nice and crafty that's why you see all this shitty ass warrior plus excuse my language i don't ever cuss uh products because who are these people kidding right there are people that are like fast talkers there's people who are like look i'm I'm very fluent in my language i'm very look at me i've studied marketing so whatever i say it's gonna persuade you robert green persuade and so so many people have that and there's people on youtube i won't even name this person but they have their shirt off it's so stupid uh <laughs> And, uh, you know, I was watching a YouTube video and it just got him mad. I didn't want to click on there, but it just went to like the next video. And I'm like, this down. And so I'm like, this person still has a shirt off when he's making YouTube videos. Um, and so it's, it's, it's like, look, there's these people who are unwise, but they want money. They think they're helping you. So they, they feed themselves in their mind every single day. And they say to themselves, they wake up with that. They're like, yeah, I'm really making a difference. It doesn't matter what my haters are saying, haters that categorize them when they're not haters. And so, you know, they make their living most of just the, the selling the high ticket coaching packages of like 100,000, 300,000, 30,000, whatever that cost is, but it's going to be higher. I was just tuning into a uh, clubhouse club and somebody was being put on the spot about how they sold a lady who uh i think she was on disability who was struggling and the guy some kind of i think he did hypnosis and he sold her, he tried to sell her an over three hundred thousand dollar like coaching type package and i was like what the these people are like man i don't even know what kind of world they come from what did, how did they grow up like who are these i can't even look at them in the eye type of people um, and so it's disgusting to me. I'll get on, I'll get on the app here in a moment, but, uh, thanks for being here. Uh, it does mean a lot to me. It's hard for me to always get on video. Um, but I'm going to, you know, tomorrow's Sunday, it's time I'm shooting this Saturday. So I'll have some re uh, relaxing time. And I have, a. am um, I'm, I'm still playing soccer on Sundays. And so, um, there's a young group of people and mix them with a little bit older, but young too. And I, I'm the leader usually who goes in there to just uh, make sure everything is structured. And we, we make sure everything is flowing through me. Everything flows through the team as well, through the other players. And I just like showing up to help the team. It's not an individual thing. But uh, w what happens is on topic here, we have the kids up here, the, the adults, right? And they sell those packages and it's like, that's how they make their money. Like you think about it and you ask, how do they really make their money? Did that person actually make an authority niche website that produced them income and made an even better impact on people, not just income. And, and you trace that and you really like, you start doing this, like, nope. Yet they're teaching you 
how to make money online with something like affiliate marketing, right? Yet, yet they created a tool um, or, or a business opportunity to help you make money with affiliate marketing because that's the easiest way for them to do it. And that's the easiest way for anybody to do it. Um, the reason I don't charge people, I don't have my own coaching and consulting program is because I dare not to do that. Now, if it becomes more and more and more and specific, then I will. But I love what I'm doing now. And I show up for you in that way. And you'll see me do some, you know, free coaching. Uh, you'll see me here like now doing some live in the group uh, because I really do freaking care about what step you are on because I don't want you to go from, oh, I guess. And then it's working until like, oh, somebody told you to do this and that shit doesn't work. Um, excuse my language again. And so it just, it just fires me because it's, it's a topic that I don't normally like talking about, but it's, it's there because I need to put it out. And so that's how they, it's how a lot of these people, they do it. They have those higher level and then they have the mid tier and then they have the front end. It's all a business, but, and then they hire other people to kind of do the training for them. Right. They have like these courses, but they have, you know, and so it's like, why don't they appear in it? Why, why aren't, you know, they, why do they do the more front end level stuff and they don't do the actual like course. Let me show you how to do the blogging step by step do 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 different modules, different lessons. Um, and even when they do, they bring in other people or if they do it themselves, it's just, it's just, man, nah, you know what I mean? Like, and you have to ask yourself, it's brilliant. It's so brilliant because um, then you wouldn't have a platform to learn from. You wouldn't be exchanging money, right? You wouldn't be making an investment because I do believe you should pay for things. I don't believe you should get everything for free. But this is such a thing where like, you know, a lot of the people who are doing very well with affiliate marketing today are the people who are like, we're, we're promoting these shitty systems. And they were like, here, here. You got to buy this at the $30 and then buy this at a $3,000 and then at a $4,000 to get all the tools inside of that level. Kind of like the, the whole, um, what was that? Like the whole, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to say his name, uh, funnel SROI kind of stuff, right? Where you have to buy this first and then you can buy the next one and then buy the next one. But the whole purpose of it is, is you're going to return around and promote it to other people. And that's a lot of how those gurus stacked up on the leaderboard. They were pretty much selling people the opportunity of a business opportunity that had more tools at a different level. And there's nothing wrong with that if you're ready to go there. But you consciously have to think, what am I doing to people? Right now, let me get on video here or on uh, share screen. Okay, so we have the whiteboard here. We're gonna, I did a video on hierarchy of uh, your site structure and stuff like that. So we're gonna continue with that concept. And so here we have H, stands for hierarchy, not hydrogen. And so what we, what we have here is a model that um, is kind of like the spider web, right? We, the spider web effect. Uh, at the very top of the pyramid, we might have some coaching and we have consulting. And then as we kind of build down the hierarchy, right, we kind of have the mid tier, as I was talking about earlier. Um, we'll, we'll kind of put the arrow here for coaching and consulting. And then the mid tier level, we have something maybe it could be a it could be a course. It could be a course. It could be something bundled. It could be something um, with more support, right? It could be a different level of support. Uh, up here too, where we have this, um, we have another level, like events and masterminds, right? Events, masterminds. So we can actually say that's the very top. So we'll have its own category, its own merit. And then we have here, kind of mid-tier, almost front-end, you know, kind of kind of realigns the same. And it might be just a little taste of something to get you in. It might be a challenge. It might be a six-step, uh, six you know, blueprint or anything. And I'm not saying those things are wrong. Right. And I'm not saying those things are wrong. Those things are good. They're good for your education. Never skip out on any of that. Um, in fact, I do promote some of these tools that you guys already have. Um, I know you guys, those of you I've gotten a chance to talk to. Um, I'm, I'm as real as it gets, guys. I very, 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 very much care for you. Um, you know, I was grown up educated. I'm not going to be here to fall off the bandwagon or jump on a bandwagon and say 
because a marketer does it this way, then I'm going to do it too. So many people do that. They, they get into the business and they, they're like, I'm going to turn it around and promote it to other people or because I don't do anything else or because I don't you know, want to actually put in the time to show you know people the tools and resources on how to do other things, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so front end here, it can be with mid-tier as well with the course or it can be uh, as well. Kind of goes the same, overlaps. Uh, could be books could be guides something very simple maybe a seven dollar up to a 39 dollar range depending um you know higher conversions usually means more of a stick so when somebody you know buys something of a higher level at a front end price then it's more likely that person will ascend up the levels um, but it, it could be good or bad you know depending on what you are getting so what we see here is you know the courses i want to overemphasize this part we have people who create courses for these owners, right? We have the gurus up here. Not saying that all of them are bad. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that these owners, they create a lot of this up here, the front end. Here is my personal productivity. Here is this blueprint. Here is this challenge. Da, 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 da. And they may or may not have content up here. But the fact is that they bring people to contribute to their education. So they can bring somebody on that'll show you, you know, a specific skill set that they have. And that's really cool. That's how institutions are created. Um, if, you're, if you're promoting some kind of a personal productivity tool, whatever that is, finance, there might be people that come in and collaborate, which is fine. But it's such a well-disguised thing for these gurus to justify that they've actually built a legitimate real business outside of showing people how to make money online. And so they repack, they package everything. It might be really good. Like, hey, the content is good. I'm not saying it's bad, but you know, there's a lot of things you can find online for free, and there's things you just have to pay for. I get that, but I want you to think back to the person who's creating the course. Who is this person, right? No, Jim and Sally here are not skinny people. I just can't create. Very good. I'm not good at art. And so what happens is, you know, these people, they prey on that. They, they, they were like, okay, they were network marketers. They were people who were promoting shitty courses again. And material, they were promoting, uh, sorry, I'm getting distracted. One second, I'll be back. All right, I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. So we have these gurus over here who are creating these courses, and it's a mirage. You got to look at it as a mirage, right? You're at the desert, and you're going into this mirage, but you're unsure. You know, you, you might think it's good, it's real, but then – you have to come back and trace them. You have to see what their background is or how do they get started? Um, they have to actually build something uh, tangible. Um, and most of these people haven't. And that's, that's just the truth. They just are very good now at creating the courses for you, the opportunities for you. Um, and they leverage all that, right? They take that, they take that and they go with it and they run with it. But you know, you want to see somebody who actually has a, you know, they built something. If it's affiliate marketing, we're using that example here. They've built something in the space of a different industry. It's like, hey, I built something in the health and wellness space with free traffic, organic traffic. I didn't have to pay for ads. I didn't have to go create a YouTube video to show somebody how to run a, a health a health ad, a display ad on Google, right? Because that's so easy for somebody to go and do. They're going to try to prove to you that they can make money with any niche, right? And they may, may make it, they may not. And if they make it, a lot of the time, these people, what they're doing is it's a very quick buck. They're just trying to show you, they're trying to reinst and repeat that, look, if I could prove it in the make money online space, I can prove to, the, to it um, in a different space. 
And then they show you, um, you know, how to do that, but they don't legitimately like have the authority to show you, right? They, they just show you because it's worked in a different model. So they're going to try to show you in this space as well. And so when that happens, it's very easy to be attracted to it. See what I'm saying? It's very attracted to it. Um, okay. So that's kind of everything I wanted to go into in this video. Um, I, you know, look back on that, on that topic that what have they created? There's people that like tell you, go and create a side around this, go and do a little side hustle, go and create a little side hustle and then you'll be fine. And look, I created a site around this, but when you dig deep into the site and when you dig deep into the things that they're doing, they, they keep secrets and they're using old tactics. They're using, uh, they were doing black hat, red hat, all this green hat SEO tricks to rank their websites. And if they were or not doing that, there was another method there. It was very easy for them in the time to do it, or they just put up a one-page website and it's like making them thousands and thousands of dollars when, when it's only a seasonal thing. They forgot to, they left that out. It's not doing it well for them anymore. They sell their site because it didn't work or they just don't want that anymore. Um, so it's very, very misleading. There are people that just like to create the opportunity for you rather than to show you how to actually uh, do it differently. And it's very, very, it's, it's, it's intelligent. I'm going to give it to them. It's, it's intelligent. Like, and if it weren't for them, we probably wouldn't be doing affiliate marketing the way we should, you know, the way that they package it. But you have to, you have to get better at enjoying somebody who has actually created you know, like, hey, let me show you. I'm not afraid to show you my uh, income or my uh, the site that I made around affiliate marketing in the health space. This is how I was able to do it legitimately, not for a short time where I just faked it and, you know, put this one page website up and I showed people, you know, or my YouTube channel and I showed people how to do it. And now I'm going to be the person bringing people into business opportunities or promoting uh, business tools. It's a, it's a thing and it's just, um, it's a cycle. You see it right now in TikTok. You see it uh everywhere man everywhere and this is a big reason why um i'm happy where i started and i would have never have wanted to jump into promoting um a business opportunity promoting uh the tools for a business even though i've used them in the past i wanted to build something that i was passionate about had a hobby in or an interest for and see if that can make i can make that work and things have been going well for me um so don't believe everything. Have mindsight, not only eyesight. Mindsight, not eyesight. Okay. That's everything from me. Thank you for being here. I thoroughly enjoy uh, the fact that you can make it on these lives and that you are here on the replays. Thank you.